Whitewater Folk Group and Duo Borealis from Northern Michigan immediately agreed to put on a benefit concert for the White Buffalo Calf Women's Society Shelter in Mission, South Dakota, serving the Lakota Rosebud American Indian Reservation and surrounding areas. Music groups are comprised of family and close friends and for decades have toured the world bringing their unique style and sound to millions. Whitewater is shown here at a 4th of July 2007 concert at Eden on the Bay Lutheran Church in Munising, Michigan, home of the Turtle Island Project. From southern dark to dark, Lecturing and prayer stay long high. First, a little background about the Turtle Island Project and the tribe served by the shelter. The Turtle Island Project is devoted to the environment and Native American issues. The project promotes respect for First Nations peoples, the indigenous peoples, also known as American Indians. Reverend Lynn Hubbard, the founder of the Turtle Island Project, is a longtime friend of the Lakota Band of the Sioux Tribe, the North American Territory of the Lakota, Nakota, and Dakota nation is in the present-day state of South Dakota and five neighboring states. The Lakota, Nakota, and Dakota nation are known as the Great Sioux Nation, descendants of the original inhabitants of North America. Members of the Great Sioux Nation are truly the original indigenous peoples. The White Buffalo Calf Women's Society Shelter in Mission, South Dakota was opened 30 years ago thanks to Tilly Black Bear, the shelter's current executive director. Tilly Black Bear had hoped domestic violence would end by the turn of the century. It didn't. Sadly, women around the world continue to be beaten and murdered every day. Domestic violence is literally America's black eye. The abuse is prevalent in all segments of society. The violence crosses all lines, social, economic, race, and creed. Tilly Black Bear founded the shelter to protect all women and all children. The shelter provides emergency homes to all domestic violence victims. The shelter has counseling and services, including a women's support group, meetings for sexual assault survivors, and a men's re-education project. Those are just a few of the reasons that the Turtle Island Project and Whitewater have organized the August 12, 2007 benefit concert. The goal of the late afternoon concert is to raise funds to support the shelter and its many worthy projects. Well, behind me in the background you hear the wonderful folk group Whitewater playing. In a couple of weeks they're going out to Custer, South Dakota and do a benefit concert for the White Buffalo Calf Women's Shelter. And this is the kind of people that they are. Wonderful musicians, wonderful humanitarians, and I think uh, one of the greatest uh, folk groups in the United States. The White Buffalo Calf Women's Society is the first battered women's shelter on a Native American reservation in the United States. It was started by Tilly Black Bear and has been in existence for many, many years now. And it's just wonderful that the White Water agreed to do a benefit concert for them out in Lutheran Custer Fellowship in the beautiful, beautiful town of Custer, South Dakota. We're looking forward to uh, that event and uh, we hope that uh, this can be an annual occasion. If you'd like to donate or have questions about the concert, contact the White Buffalo Calf Women's Society Incorporated, Tilly Black Bear Director, North Main Street, Mission, South Dakota. You can call the shelter at area code 605-856-2317. That's area code 605-856-2317. Those wishing to help can also contact the Turtle Island Project and we'll pass along your donation. The address, Turtle Island Project, P.O. Box 624, Munising, Michigan, 49862. Or call 906-387-5615. Reverend Lynn Hubbard's email addresses are lynn at turtleislandproject.org or turtleislandproject at charter.net. The Turtle Island Project recognizes 30 years of excellent community service 
by the White Buffalo Calf Women's Society and its domestic violence shelter. The Turtle Island Project also thanks the Northern Michigan Music Groups, Whitewater, and Duo Borealis for agreeing to hold the August 12th benefit concert. On the ancient way of In a couple of weeks, uh, Whitewater is going to be doing a tour of uh, the western states and they're going to stop by on their way back to the Upper Peninsula and they're going to give a benefit concert at Lutheran Custer Fellowship in the beautiful town of Custer, South Dakota. And this is a benefit concert for the White Buffalo Women's Society, which is the first battered women's shelter on a Native American reservation in the United States. It was started by Tilly Black Bear and it does wonderful work in Mission, South Dakota. And we're so grateful for Whitewater uh, to give of their time and talents to help this wonderful organization. Perhaps one of the best examples of the shelter's good work came in an Indian Country article. A domestic violence victim helped by the shelter told a reporter she realized the most important person in her life is her young son. The victim said, quote, White Buffalo Calf helped me build strength. The shelter made her realize she didn't need the abuser. Quote, I can see now that I don't need this person, meaning her abuser. I can now see changes in myself. I was weak before and afraid of his abuse. Now all of that has changed. Thanks to the White Buffalo Calf Women's Society Shelter in Mission, South Dakota. For about 30 years, the center has been serving battered women and children. It continues to serve as an information and resource center for Lakota women from all over South Dakota and Nebraska. In keeping with Lakota tradition, one of the first things that victims are taught is that even in thought, women are to be respected. The benefit concert will be held August 12th at 5 p.m. local time at the Custer Lutheran Fellowship, a church in Custer, South Dakota. The Whitewater concert is free, however donations are encouraged to the White Buffalo Calf Woman Society. Refreshments will follow the concert. I'm Greg Peterson and you're watching Turtle Island Television.